Well, you can say that Pat Boone is the first American Idol. He became a national superstar as a 19-year-old in 1953, as a three-time winner of the original Amateur Hour. Since then, he sold millions of records over the course of his legendary career. And now he has one question for the country that made him famous. Where did America go? Legendary recording artist and entertainer Pat Boone is deeply concerned about our country. He says it's time for Americans to reclaim the values that once defined her. Pat gives a wake-up call to our nation with his latest single, Where Did America Go?, which has already gained over 6.3 million views across social media. The land of the brave and the free. Well, joining us via Zoom is our good friend and dear friend, Pat Boone. Pat, welcome back to the program. Uh, it's back to be in almost a home, a second home, CBN. I know, Thank I you. know. We, we love having you always. Well, Pat, I got to ask, where did America go? <laughs> That's the question I'm asking. We're, we're going downhill. We're sliding off a cliff. Another picture in one of the books I've written is it's like America is a ship uh, on a river and sailing along and doing great. And all of a sudden, the uh, the river begins to flow more freely and quickly. And, and we begin to want to try to stop it from going so fast. And we want to maybe even think about getting off the ship. And there's a lot of steam and noise ahead. And we realize we're headed toward a waterfall. And there's no way we can pull the shore the ship to shore. And that's exactly what the picture that I see for America. We have been so blessed for so many years, well, since our beginning. And uh, and we, we always look to God. We had a constitution that was our guide. And uh, we loved each other. And uh, even if we disagreed with each other, we were all fellow Americans. And it was it, we could help others even when we were in trouble ourselves financially. All of these things are the America we knew and we love and I we grew up in and we wanted our kids to grow up in. But things are changing. Well, I have to also ask, what is it about the founding principles of America that you think made our country just so great? They were from God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, Amen. That's what it is. They came from God. Uh, our founders were all Bible-believing men. And they they wanted to create in their minds, a new modern Israel. And they looked to the Bible for the uh, principles that, gave, that made Israel great in their better days. Of course, they, they were overlooking the fact that when Israel departed from God's way, God eventually had to let them be sold into slavery. But, but when we were at our best, it was because our founders uh, actually built our nation on the principles of the Bible, that is, fear of God, first of all, and then loving our neighbors, treating our neighbors as we treat ourselves, and and on and on. The principles of good and the Bible, these were our founding principles. Mm -hmm. Jefferson said in the Declaration, we hold these truths to be self-evident. All men are created, and, and that means there is a creator created and endowed with certain inalienable principles among these life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, that's a bunch of words that we have spoken and we know, but those are the very principles on which this nation was built and how we survived and grew. But we're departing from, from all of that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, how do you think that we can heal this division in our nation? On our knees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's what I say in the song, oh, God of sweet liberty, please help us, heal us again. If we fall on our knees, will you still hear our pleas? Take us back to where we were then. Will you? Can we still? You know, as I sing this song, as I wrote it for all of us, I was reading in my daily reading in the Bible about Israel and Israel, who was God's chosen people. For they continually forsook him and forsook the principles and worshiped pagan gods as we now worship demonic things and, and celebrate things, practices that God says are abominations, and we let the flag of them fly over the White House. I mean, we are just selling our freedoms. 
for sale. Well, Pat, do you think that America can still rise again? Do you think that we have the strength to move on and move forward into a better day? What do, what do you think about that? I know we do, and I and that that's the last verse. I, you must have you must have heard or seen, but the last verse: Can America still rise again? Find our way back to who we were then. Yes, that old family Bible still holds our survival, shows the way America can win. And and then it just mournfully says, "Where did America go?" And and that's it. And and one of the verses: Where has America gone? Where are Abraham, Martin, and John? We silenced their voices and gave up our choices. Do we have the strength to move on? Mm -hmm. Asking the questions: Where are we? Can we get back? Can we can we paddle against the tide and reach the shore again and hold on? We can. God will bless us and receive us if 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 we want him to mm -hmm. get on our knees, literally right. get on our knees and pray daily that he'll hear our prayer and see our need ask and forgive us of the ways we have strayed from the principles that made us who we were and who we want to be again. I love that. Well, Pat, thank you so much for being with us today. And just thank you for the song. Thank you for just your spirit. And thank you for loving our nation the way you do. I really do. And I'm, I sing, I pray, and long for us to be mm -hmm. the America that we were and can mm -hmm. be. Amen. Amen to that. All right, everyone. Well, you can listen to his latest hit. It's called Where Did America Go? You can watch it, listen to it on YouTube or other streaming platforms. You can also purchase it anywhere you buy music today.